Syria says one of its military air bases has been attacked. Russia has once again warned the United States not to take military North Korea's action. North Korea's nuclear and missile capability has posed the toughest foreign policy dilemma. It's more likely to happen if we imagine it's impossible. President Trump's recent comments about Montenegro have sparked some new backlash. It's the defense of our nation and its citizens. That's a military Welcome to personnel. the front line in the but collapse we of the West as we know it. the act and terminated him. I don't know what to say. I think that this is really stupid. <laughs> no, he, he, said, he said Montenegro was aggressive. Maybe he makes some mistake. No, I don't no. know. Do you look like aggressive man? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> no. Very strong people. They're very aggressive people. They may get aggressive and congratulations, you're in World War III. This is an important time in our country's history. We have entered World War III. World War III has begun and we have a leader who refuses to identify it and be truthful to the American people, to the stakes that are involved. Australia's deadly wildfires may not have reached Sydney, but they've blanketed the country's biggest city in a haze of smoke. New South Wales, where Sydney lies, remains under a state of emergency. Found a baby Joey in the fire. A little koala rescue. The third case now of the coronavirus has been confirmed here in the United States. Health officials in Orange County, California say a person there tested positive for coronavirus on Saturday. Let's get right to our top story, the expanding the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus. Look at the map. Coronavirus, hence the name Wuhan coronavirus. The most alarming thing that's come out of all of this is the fact that according to Chinese health officials, this has confirmed the spread from one person to another. China, where the outbreak started, the total number of those sickened rose overnight to 2,000. 56 people have died. And we can now confirm that the U.S. State Department is evacuating staff from the consulate in Wuhan, China. Ground zero for the outbreak. Good afternoon from New York. We're coming on the air with breaking news, very sad news to tell the sports world. The L.A. Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper reportedly went down just before 10 a.m. local time. <laughs> My queen! <laughs> it's on me, brothers! <laughs> you know the way! I don't think pee You don't have no the way! Do you know the way? Yeah! You don't have no the way! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 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 Oh my god!